Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video we're going to go over the basic Git workflow. In the last video we talked about setting up a repository in GitHub, I'll put a link in the description and on the screen now. We're now going to use that repository as the base for our example on this Git workflow. So I'm going to go into Git Bash, and we can already see I've cloned the repo from my last video. If you haven't already done this, I'd suggest go into watch that video so you're in the same same state that I'm in for this one, for this example. So with inside Git Learning, we can see we're on the main branch. If I just do a Git status, we can see that uh, it's all up to date. We've got nothing to commit and everything is clean. What I want to do is I want to create a text file, add some content to it, and then go through the process of what you typically will do when you're committing and pushing work to Git. So let's do that. Let's uh, create a new text file. So we'll open up Folder Explorer, and all I'm gonna do here is say new text document and call it like and subscribe. In this case, I'm just going to add some content to it, and we'll say, doesn't matter what the content is, so I'll just put, have you liked and subscribed yet? If you haven't, please do, because it helps me out a lot. So I'm going to close this down. So now if I go back to Bash and I say, git status, it now tells us that we have some untracked files. And you can see here, that's a like and subscribe .txt. So what we want to do is add that file to staging to say we're ready to commit this file and to make sure the git is tracking the file. To do that, you can say git add, and then you can do the file name. So in this case, I could say like and subscribe .txt. I press tab twice, so like and subscribe .txt. If I hit enter on this, you're going to see that this goes green and it's being tracked and ready and it's in the staging part. Another option, which you've probably seen me do quite often, is git add dot, and this means add everything. So I'll just do that. In this case, it doesn't matter because we only have one file being changed. If I now say git status, what we can see is the changes are now staged and ready to be committed. And even in git bash, is highlighted in the green text to say that it's being tracked and all is good. Let's do git commit. In the previous videos, you've seen me use the hyphen M option, which is to add an inline commit message. But I'm going to show you what happens if you just do a git commit. Hit enter on that. It's opened up and we've, we're in a state now where we can enter a commit message. Um, we can add multiple lines. So that's the real difference here. Typically, I always use just one line ones. But if you have a big changes where you want to add multiple lines for the commit message, you can do that in here. Okay, so I can just say create like and subscribe .txt. Now to exit out this, I can say escape, and then I'm going to say colon wq exclamation mark and hit enter. And now you can see the commit is there. We've got one file changed and one insertion. If I do a git status, git status now tells us we're the head of master and the working directory is clean. Origin master is our remote repository that we have on GitHub. So if we actually look on GitHub, the file will not be there, even though we've committed to work. So let's just double check that. Let's go to GitHub. I'm going to refresh the page. And we can see the file is still not there. The reason why is because we now need to push our changes so the remote repository has them. So people can actually view the change and the file I've just added. So we can do git push. Now, what is git push? It's a way of pushing our local git repo code into the remote repository that we've just created and we've gone through. So I'll say git push hyphen u origin and then the name of the branch. In this case, it's main. So the dash u is stating that we want this branch to be tracked. Origin is just being the remote repository and main is the name of the branch we have. We're basically providing a tracking reference for our branches. So if I hit enter on this, we can see it's been pushed up. And when we reload GitHub now, we should see the file that we've just added. I do want to note, next time we push um, the branch, we can simply say git push and it'll all work fine. Usually when you're branching off, you need to set the dash u in the origin to say that we want it to be tracked. In this case, all is okay. I could do git push and it'd work fine. I just wanted to show you that. So let's go back to GitHub just to make sure that I'm telling the truth. 
and you can see the like and subscribe txt file is there and the content we added is also in here the last git command i want to talk about is git pull it's essentially the opposite to push push is pushing our local changes to the remote whereas pull is pulling down the changes from the remote to your local typically you'll be working in a team that makes pushes and you'll be pulling their work and the same vice versa. Since I'm working alone, I'm going to add something directly to the GitHub repository and then we can pull down those changes. So let's just go into subscribe txt. Let's edit this and I'll say, have you done it yet? And we'll make the commit, which I'll just say, make small text change. And we'll hit commit changes on this. So we can now see this change is in GitHub. And like the push, we're not going to see on our local branch because we haven't pulled anything yet. So if I go into Git Learning and we go into subscribe TXT, we'll see nothing's there yet. Let's close that down and go back to Git Bash. And now in here, we can just simply do a git pull. It's pulled everything down from the remote repository, which includes that edit I just made. And git shows at this, us that there have been changes as well. And it says it's been changes to the subscribe txt file. So let's go into git learning. Let's open this up. And you can see that small change is now been made. Awesome. Before we finish off, I do want to mention it's best practice to ensure you're pulling often and always do a git pull before you push your changes. So always keep that in mind. You may also be thinking, is there an easy way to get help on these commands? How did I know to add the dash u option to the push command? And the answer is yes, it's worth noting. You can say git hyphen hyphen help. So if I do git help, hit enter. It gives us a command of all the common git commands we can use. And on top of that, you can even get help on specific commands, which opens up a web page with the documentation. So if I do git pull hyphen hyphen help, what we'll see is a web page will open and it'll give us a description of the command and all the options it has. Here we go. So we got a git pull. We've got the description here. And if I scroll down a bit, it's given us options of all the different things we can do on it. There we are. So we've just gone through the simple git kind of workflow, the standard one you'll be using majority of the time. As always, any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and, subs a like and subscribe is appreciated and have a good day.